Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a stretched res tutorial here in Valorant. This is fully non-bannable as all the things you need to do this are in the game or native to your PC. As well as also going to be showing you how to solve the black bar issue that a lot of people face where the black bars appear on the top and bottom of your screen, which essentially negate the stretch resolution. The first step is very normal. This is kind of on any tutorial that you'll see. You're going to put it into windowed and fill. And these two things, as I said, are very normal. Window, just to keep your native resolution. These two things are going to be the same. Click apply, confirm. And you are now in your native resolution, uh, except you're going to be in windowed mode. Now, the problem that a lot of people face is that once you do the next step, which is to pull up your resolution settings, your display settings, uh, it may be different. It may be different on AMD if you don't have uh, an NVIDIA graphics card, whatever it may be, just pull up whichever you need to do to change the resolution and then pop it into a stretched res. Personally, I like to use 1280 by 960 because that's the one that was used in CS. And then normally if you click apply and then confirm, what will happen is that while you are in stretch res currently, if you go into the game, you'll immediately see that there are black bars added to the top and bottom of your screen. Now what this does, this may be intentional by Riot, but it sort of just negates your stretch res. It doesn't let you, or doesn't have the wider hitboxes as well as the quicker movement from the, on the horizontal axis. So in order to fix this, so if we just go and reset, Rather than, so if we reset everything actually. So here we're kind of back to normal. Uh, once again, we're gonna do the windowed into fill and apply. This is gonna be on every step. But in this case, instead of immediately doing the NVIDIA control panel, we're actually gonna wait. And so you can hop into your comp game, your deathmatch, whatever it may be. And so you're gonna queue up and just staying in this position. And so once you've found a game, you're still gonna be in that windowed and native resolution. So now you can bring over once again, the resolution change or whatever it may be, bring it down to whatever the four by three is, click apply. And now this, these settings will stay the entire game. So you can play your entire comp match uh, as long as you do not mess with any of these settings, you can change things here. You can pretty much change anything except this display mode resolution and monitor. If you keep these things the same and just not mess with it, you will have that stretched resolution as well as the faster uh, crosshair movement uh, left and right uh, the entire game. And that's kind of fixes the problem of the black boxes or the black uh, lines at the top and the bottom of the screen. However, let's say that, you know, you finish your game and then you go back to the main menu. Once again, you saw in the, in between there, you'll saw that black bars at the top and bottom. So now you want to just go back to your control panel, fully reset everything. And then here, once again, all you really need to do is just stop once you've reset everything. And this little way you notice my cursor is a little bit lower than it should be, but just to it. And then here, once again, windowed fill, apply, and then stop right here. Go up for your game. And then have the control panel ready to go with 1280 by 960. So you can quickly hit apply once the game loads. And once again, this will be maintained throughout the entire game until you back out. So it will be stretched the entire time. And this, once again, is fully legal. It uh, will not get you banned as everything you're doing is within the game and within the settings of your PC. As you can see, we are in fully stretched. And it's going to stay like this no matter what you do. You can move around. You won't tab you out or anything. And it will be like this. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time whenever that upload may be. <laughs>